Hello wonderful viewer, welcome to What The Math, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about 11 awesome exoplanets, planets that are outside of our solar system, that are known to us today. We're going to talk about why they're awesome and what is so amazing about them. Hopefully one day we'll make it to those planets and then we can actually compare and contrast our knowledge of those planets that we have today to what we actually discover. And although this video itself will only touch on those planets very briefly, if you want to learn more about those planets in more detail, near the end of the video I'm going to post links with previous videos that we've made about some of them. Welcome to What The Math and enjoy this video! And let's actually start by escaping this object, which actually turns out to be Haumea. A dwarf planet we've talked about uh, previously that actually has a very unusual and strange shape. This is an object in our own solar system that is quite unusual. So, alright, let's start with the first exoplanet on the list. And the first planet on our list is Gliese 581c. This is a strangely Earth-like planet that is also known as Hot Oceania because essentially it is a, uh, an object that is Earth-like and is in the so-called habitable zone of its parent star, which is right there. It's, this is a Gliese 581, also known as Wolf 562 or HIP 74995. And so this planet is actually surprisingly in the habitable zone. And so when it was found originally, people thought, or the scientists thought, that maybe this is where we can actually discover life. But turns out that this planet is unfortunately tightly locked to its star, so it actually always points same side to the star, making that one side super hot. And it also turns out that it's very likely to be very hot. So the temperature here is uh, over 100 degrees Celsius. So if there is anything on this planet, if there's any kind of life, it's very likely is only going to be found uh, in these twilight regions of this planet. But other than that, this is actually a pretty awesome world. And so let's try to land on it and see what it looks like. And so let's actually fly through its atmosphere and try to land on it. And as you'll notice that um, even though it's an ocean, it doesn't actually have any water on it, mostly because it's really hot here. But there is some sort of a liquid, at least in Space Engine, although I'm not entirely sure what that liquid is. Very likely to be just a simulation of liquid, and in real life it might actually just have a barren, desert-like surface um, instead of actual water. And now that we're talking about Earth-like planets, let's go to the Earthiest planet we know so far. A planet that we actually... Uh, named Earth 2.0. This is a planet that was discovered in 2015, and this is a planet called Kepler 452b. It is also in the habitable zone, but for this particular planet, it is not tidally locked, and as you can see in Space Engine, it's actually simulated to be very, very Earth-like. The atmosphere here is um, a little bit different from Earth, but that's also randomly generated, so we're not exactly sure what, what the atmosphere here is. Uh, but we know that it very likely has liquid water or some kind of a liquid material on it. It also has potentially habitable atmosphere and, of course, uh, temperature as well. And so this is the surface of this planet. It almost looks like Earth. But the problem is that it's kind of far away. It's actually 1,400 light years away, so it would, take, it would take us a long time to get here with the current technology. So we might not be able to visit it for quite a while, um, even though it might actually be our next home one day. The next planet on the list is a, a little bit unusual. This is a planet called Jensen, which is actually a new name that it received very recently, uh, named after Zachariah Jensen, which was who, uh, who was um, uh, a pioneer in, in telescope development. And so this planet was named after him. And it's also known as Cancrii or 55 Cancrii E, because uh, this star right here is known as 55 Cancrii. And as you can see, it is really close to the star. As you can also see, it's also very, 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 very hot. It's uh, almost a thousand degrees Celsius. But what's unusual about this planet is that we actually think it's made out of carbon. And it has a lot of sort of carbon-like structure on the bottom, especially near the center. And we also think that its core is one large diamond. So this is essentially a diamond planet with an extremely large sun, very close to the sun. And so if we were to actually come here one day, we would discover a ridiculously hot planet with a diamond at its center. Now, getting to that diamond would be a little bit difficult, uh, but what we know is that it does have a bit of atmosphere. It also has uh, a lot of other materials like hydrogen, but for the most part, this is one large diamond. Let's go to the next unusual planet, and this time it's a planet called Wasp-12b. doesn't actually have any other name. 
And what is so special about Wasp, except for the fact that it's also very close to the star? Um, well, for one, it's one orbit around that star. We'll take it only one day. So I'm going to accelerate time here just to show you. It's a very, very fast orbiting object. And because it's so fast orbiting and because it's so close to the star, um, it actually has a very large sort of gas cloud coming out of its uh, tail. And you can kind of see it right there. It almost looks like a large comet. But a lot of this gas is actually being absorbed by the star. And so every second, this beautiful planet is being eaten by this parent star and will one day turn into what we now know as a Ktonian planet, about which I talked about very uh, recently. You can check out the video right here. And so this will one day become really small and scorched, but for now it's basically being eaten alive, or eaten in general, by this beautiful star known as Wasp-12. And the other interesting thing about Wasp-12b is that it's actually one of the uh, lowest density planets in our known galaxy, at least the ones that we've found so far. Its density is about three times less than water, it's a lot less dense than uh, any of the gas giants that are in our solar system, so basically here, uh, most of the material is kind of spread out, and although the mass of this planet is uh, about 1.4 masses of Jupiter, uh, most of this mass is spread out over a larger volume, so it's a lot less dense than Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, or Uranus. But one day it will actually all disappear and become a scorched Ktonian planet that will have density very similar to the density of Earth. The next planet is Gliese 1214b, and unfortunately it's not really well represented in this game, but uh, we are almost 100% certain that Gliese 1214b is actually the largest um, ocean world we've found so far. It's um, relatively uh, in a good position in comparison to other planets, and so here we think there's actually a very large ocean uh, on the surface. And we're gonna go to this planet, on the surface of this planet, just to see what it looks like. Unfortunately, in this game, it's actually a scorched desert. But in um, in real life, we are almost 100% certain that this is basically one large ocean. And because this is a large ocean world, we've also discovered clouds on this planet. This is one of the few planets where we've actually seen clouds um, coming from the atmosphere. So it's a pretty exciting planet to have uh, been found, but the thing is, since it's kind of far away from, from us, and since there's really no land to land on, I'm not sure if we'll be planning any missions on this planet anytime soon. But nevertheless, I think this is a pretty cool world, definitely a really awesome ocean planet, and hopefully one day we'll come here and go for a swim. Next on the list is Wasp-17b. Now, I didn't want to include this at first because it actually lost its status, but I wanted to actually include this for the reason of this being a very beautiful planet in this game. Wasp-17b used to be, until 2012, the largest by volume planet we have found so far. This is a pretty large uh, gas giant, it's uh, relatively close to its main star. And it's a type of a planet known as a hot Jupiter, which will also become um, a Ktonian planet because, as you can see, all of its gas is evaporating right now. Now, the reason I included this is because the next one I'm going to show you is currently the largest known planet to us to date. And this was actually also recommended to me by one of the viewers, Michael Miller. Thank you so much for showing this planet because I totally forgot about it. And the largest planet on the list is right here, it's HD 10546b, we're going to go to it and it's actually also very very beautiful and super super large. Let's, let's just wait for it to load a little bit, there's a few glitches on the surface, but basically this is a large gas giant, ridiculously big, uh, it's about a million kilometers in diameter and it's about 28 masses of Jupiter. So it's more massive than Jupiter, it's also much larger, it's about six times larger than Jupiter. And so essentially this today is the largest planet we know of in the known galaxy. So it's a pretty interesting, pretty beautiful world. If you have Space Engine, definitely give it a try, come for a visit. It's, uh, it's considered to be a cold gas giant in this game. And so if you land on the surface, you'll notice that there's just gas clouds and a lot of atmosphere here. But uh, definitely a really cool planet to visit, and definitely a really cool planet to explore one day in real life as well. Next, HD 10696b. This used to be as well the uh, farthest planet 
from its star. It used to be that this was, this had the status of being the frozen gas giant that is really, really far away from its main star. And I wanted to visit it just because it's so pretty and it looks like a more artistic Jupiter. If you actually look at the surface, it's absolutely beautiful. So this was really far away from the star. It's about um, 450 astronomical units, which is about 450 times the distance of Earth from the sun. Um, and I think it's important that this planet exists because it gives us an idea that some gas giants or some um, gas giant-like planets may actually be formed farther away from the star. So this gives us a hope that there is something called Planet 9 in our solar system as well. But the next planet I'm going to show you is currently the leader in distances from its parent star. Now, this doesn't actually look like the uh, planet that you just saw because it hasn't really been updated yet. But this brown dwarf is actually not a brown dwarf at all. It is um, a gas giant and it's about 4,500 astronomical units away from its uh, star, which is about 10 times more than the, uh, the planet I just showed you. Now, even though it doesn't look like a planet, I've talked about this in the previous uh, video, it just hasn't been updated in the game yet. Uh, 2 mass 2126-8140 is the uh, most distant planet from its parent star. And so essentially this system, which unfortunately is not well represented in the game because there is also a star missing, uh, but this system creates the largest solar system that we currently know with a distance of 4500 astronomical units in radius. And since we're talking about extremes, let's go to the next extreme planet that I've talked about previously as well, Tress 2b. This is known as the darkest planet in the solar system with something like less than 1% of light being reflected. So this is a super, super dark and unusually creepy looking world where you won't be able to see almost anything on the surface. And the last extreme is, of course, my favorite one, J1407b. You see it right there in the background. The planet with the largest the most massive rings that we have found to date. This is a gas giant that is known for the largest, incredibly huge rings that are just mind-blowingly big. So there is that little gas giant that is actually very large as well in comparison to the rings. And so essentially those are the 11 really, really cool exoplanets I wanted to show you in this video. And I think in the next video, we're going to continue this with some more really unusual exoplanets because there's just so many cool ones that I didn't want to include in just one video and wanted to talk about them in more detail later on as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and check out some of these planets I've already explored in more detail in these videos you see on the screen right now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe because there's a lot more space stuff coming in the future. And if you want to learn things using video games this is the channel for you thank you for all of your support guys i really appreciate all of your help and all of your awesome comments and don't forget that if you actually want to message me uh, the best way to do this is through the facebook what the math group where i reply almost right away and we'll be able to answer all of your questions there as well anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video game you later and as always bye bye and let's come for a little landing on this beautiful gas giant planet J1407b. And look at those rings. That's actually what the rings look like from the surface. You can kind of see them by standing on the surface of the planet. This is absolutely gorgeous. With the Milky Way in the background as well. What a beauty.